Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on May 14th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking at space weather, world weather, and anything else affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking 304 angstroms on our sun, two Earth-facing sunspots that did release CMEs today. One yesterday and one today, sorry. Looking at the last 48 hours, incoming imagery do have a southern region sunspot coming in and another one cresting. Looking at outgoing images here, large plasma filament there on the right hand side. Not too much action to talk about there, outgoing. But we do have uh, two CMEs that are heading our way. They're kind of coupled together. Looking at the multi spectrum here two Earth-facing sunspots. You can see two pops from each of them. As well, looking at 511 angstroms, no Earth-facing coronal holes just yet, but there is one developing behind these sunspots coming equatorial. So that will be an Earth-facing coronal hole. Looking at ISWA, space, pre space weather prediction, you can see that those two CMEs are coming at us, but the top one went up and the bottom one went down. If you look closely, just rewind, have a close look. They were not Earth directed, even knowing they were Earth facing. Looking at our geospace magnetosphere for today. Nothing major to be concerned about. Real time solar wind sitting at about 400 kilometers per second. Steady stream right now. Looking at a temperature increasing over the past little bit, as well, the density. Looking here, geomagnetic activity remains pretty low. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 57 and 91 and 57. So there's a nice, healthy spike again today from the Schumann. Our planet is a buzzing right now, an amplitude of 91 quality of a 9.9 .9. let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours from around the world and we've had some big shakers today check this out 6.6 .6 Cinnabung Indonesia large volcano Cinnabung is very active today as well looking at many aftershocks through the region as well further north here the China India border FAC India 4.5 and a 4.1 as well Afghanistan and Kajik Kajikistan there we go Kajikistan 4.9 looking through Indonesia 4.6 to Bilo as well a 4.6 or 4.8 my eyes are going bad 4.7 here in New Zealand pretty quiet Kermadex in Papua New Guinea today Minor aftershocks here ringing from the 6.0 yesterday in Japan, 4.8, 4.4, as well 4.5 here. Alaska, south of Rad, or east, or sorry, west of Rad Islands, as well here in Chin Chiniac, Alaska, a 4.0 was reported. And that's the closest to the Cascades that we've seen coming northward quiet across the North American plate except for this interesting this is large 3.0 this is large for a geyser 3.0 earthquake at the geysers as well a couple minor earthquakes there through California and Utah White City New Mexico as well further south southern Mexico here 
at El Desperado. In Panama, seeing a couple aftershocks after the large 6.7 yesterday. Puerto Rico, seeing some pretty sizable quakes today as well, 3.0s. Numbers are increasing. Overlooking South America. Chile. As well, Argentina, 4.4. 4.2. And here's the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours. 203 kilometer depth, Argentina. Quiet across the African plate. Quiet through the North Pole. And that's pretty much it to report for the last 24 hours. Have a quick look at the last seven days and a lot of large red rings recently. Indian Ocean, northeastward towards the Indian Plate, and as well Japan. Deep earthquakes should be coming back to the Fiji region. Still, I don't think that's enough energy through Central America. That large 6.5 Panama, I think there's more to come. That was the last seven days for earthquakes. North Pole. Too quiet. Just saying. Having a look here, the Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes to update. Looking at here, most recently, Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Langila and Papua New Guinea. As well, Shevelich in Russia. Popo in Mexico. Sangay in Ecuador. Fuego in Guatemala, Nevada Stichilian in Colombia, Dokono, Indonesia, Pacaya, Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, Sinabung, La Soufriere, Ebico, Semeru, Raventador, and the list just keeps going on and on here. We're sitting at 14 volcanoes being updated today. Stay tuned for the Volcanic Activity Report coming this weekend. Give you an update on all active. A lot of flooding conditions still across central and southeastern United States. As well, stormy conditions through Java, Indonesia. And as well, now through India. With Tropical Storm 1, which is still unnamed. But looking here, satellite imagery, there is a lot of moisture wrapped up in this storm. This forecast here particularly says it will be growing into a Category 3 cyclone. But anything can change, especially if we are affected by space, space weather. I've seen a hurricane intensify to a Category 4 or 5 overnight due to increased solar winds. Having a quick look here, I wanted to show you satellite imagery. This is the last three days around the world, and it just... it really seems that there's a lot of cloud cover right now a lot of atmospheric rivers of moisture and this one particular it stretches all the way from greenland down to eastern australia and then wraps itself around the, the southern hemisphere long line here in the north as well and then this intertropical straight north and south movement off the coast of South America. Very interesting indeed. We're going through some crazy days, everybody. Let's have a look at our five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here at Calgary. As we do have some pretty nice weather ahead of us in the next few days. No rain in the, in the forecast. Might have some pop-up thunderstorms if it heats up enough. Other than that, we have two low-pressure systems heading through eastern Canada, Manitoba, and then into Ontario. It's going to bring a mixed bag of precipitation as the cool temperature is still hanging around. But it looks like that high pressure ridge is getting ready to scoot to the North Pole where it belongs. And we could have spring right around the corner. Just in time for summer. <laughs> Overlooking the United States, watch for extreme weather to develop over the next four days. Con considering it's going to be heating up. Low pressure center is wrapped up in there. Big high pressure ridge blocking everything and it's going to stay stationary over the united states big high pressure ridge over the atlantic and that could be dominated here by this large low pressure system it will be heading into the united kingdom in the long range forecast speaking of the uk 
you've got a little bit of dry weather coming, but another low pressure system yet again. So gray days throughout most of Europe. Overlooking the forecast for Tropical Cyclone 1. You can see here that it is going to be tracking straight into Mumbai, India. Right into the bay there. And that's for Wednesday into Thursday making landfall. But it will be making landfall pretty much as it heads north to the to that region overlooking Southeast Asia a lot of rain a long line of moisture here stretching from China and across Japan heavy rains to develop this week monsoon rains through Indonesia and Jakarta westward Philippines going to dry out northern Philippines but could see some very heavy rains through parts of Sumatra this week Overlooking Australia, cool high-pressure ridge getting ready to move in and dry things out. No major weather changes there. Gray days here for New Zealand as low-pressure systems, one right after another, are forecasted through there. As well, big low-pressure system here over the Pacific Ocean that will be joining forces with yet another low-pressure heading into Alaska so watch for an uptick in seismicity throughout that region in the long-range 10-day forecast. No major weather systems to talk about in South America. And as well, nothing major to report in Africa. Indian Ocean, I think, is going to be a volatile ocean this year. Already two quickly forming cyclones along the equator and both one heading north and one heading south. So very interesting developing developments in the Indian Ocean with tropical storms one and two. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern big raging low pressure systems still in the southern hemisphere. It's gone beast mode baby. Ramping up for winter. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the